Okay, I think I'm back in. Can you hear me? Double check here. Very good. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, like we said, uh, having to figure this thing out as we go together. Uh, fantastic talk. That was so good. Um, I I have done lots of schema design with clients. Uh, I work for a, a GraphQL content management company, and I can say that there were so many nuggets of wisdom in that talk there. So I'm personally really excited for when that talk comes live. Uh, I. I really recommend you to uh, follow those links. That article from Martin Fowler looked really excellent as well. So uh, check that one out as well. I dropped that in the chat. Uh, does anybody have any specific questions for Mark? I think next time we'll try to hold the speaker online for the few minutes uh, so we can answer answer questions live. Maybe I can even add him back in here if we have any questions. Does anybody have a specific question for Mark? Looks like uh, Mark's back. Hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> a fantastic talk, really. Uh, I was that was really, really good. I've I have come across every single one of those problems, <laughs> and uh, and that was really it was really good. I'm going to give this a few more minutes here to see if anybody has any specific questions here. Looks like we've got a specific. question here from Bob. Uh, is that a question? Uh, uh, if you can really, which should be linked to words and which should be avoided at the moment? Um, that's a really good question. In in general, the the JavaScript community and ecosystem is by far the largest in terms of tooling and involvement and uh, the speed of things we're we're seeing. Um, the the Ruby implementation is absolutely great. Uh, but not everybody wants to use Ruby, and that's totally fine. But if you are, uh, it's a great ecosystem because we've got uh, GitHub using it fully and Shopify as well, uh, building things and really giving back to open source as well. So the feature set of GraphQL Ruby, the Ruby ecosystem, is really great. Um, as far as uh, JS goes, um, I think it's pretty split towards different things, but it's a great ecosystem in general. Apollo server is great. Um, and I'm really excited about um, GraphQL Nexus as well, which is, has a code first approach. Very good. Uh, somebody else has a question regarding errors. Yes. Um, how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you have any links that you could point somebody to, or do you even cover that in your book as well? I do. Um, and Martin, if you want to ping me on Twitter, I can I can talk about it a bit more, send you a bit few links. But uh, there is a huge section in the book as well uh, if you're interested. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a important topic. Um, it's a, one of those tricky ones too, right? Because in traditional uh, traditional fetch environments an error GraphQL message is successful. <laughs> so yeah. um, I have I have never run into that problem when I've been designing apps. So uh, no, that's, a, that's would be a great one to, to see what's followed up there. I think also that you can uh, set up even private chats in this um, tooling Wait. as well. Maybe, maybe there can be a way to make a room or something. Um, I think we have maybe one more question. I want to check real quick. Scott asked, is there an open source example of a well-designed GraphQL service? GitHub? <laughs> yeah, uh, you, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> it's hopefully a, a pretty good one. Uh, I know some people have uh, have learned, uh, been told, have uh, learned a lot from it. Um, you, that's like kind of seeing it from the outside, though, the end result um, as far as open source like full implementation that's a good question that i i haven't seen do you have any ideas for, for that I, Jesse? I would slightly uh just not plug because i'm not affiliated with them but uh the i think query guys i think they call themselves but they have the api graphql voyager and they have a couple of models there so the voyager is a fantastic tool that um does a, a dependency diagraph uh diagram for you uh, for your your schema, which you can put your own schema in there and see it, which is also interesting. But that will actually show a lot of kind of best practices or some smart approaches on how to design a couple of different data models around there. 
Um, I do a couple of streams as well on data modeling and the tutorials I usually drop have like a, I, whenever I do a schema design, it's always uh, pen and paper first. I use Miro, uh, which is a digital whiteboard, but I, I do all schema starting on pen and paper because by the time you finish modeling that, you've thrown away half of it. So um, yeah, it's little, a great, little pit. Tip a great there. Tip. <laughs> um, I think it's here. Um, any hints for incorporating GraphQL API into a developer portal? J just make your queries from an authenticated environment, I would say. Do you have anything to add to that, Mark? That's, yeah, nothing really more to add there. Yeah. Scott, ping me what your specific co question is there because I'm, I'm working on a content piece using the new Auth0 uh, uh, hooks API. I, for what I do for a job is it's, it, we do content modeling and, and CMSs and stuff. So tutorials like that are what we, what's my bread and butter as a DevRel. So definitely ping me if you have a question. I'd be happy to maybe even collab something. I think we should uh, let people break uh, to their, their break session. So what we have up next, uh, which you cannot miss, this is actually required uh, viewing. The first one was required viewing and the rest of them will be required viewing as well. <laughs> uh, but what we have coming next is Natter Davit, which is going to be a really interesting talk, uh, specifically on uh, infrastructure as code for front end. So he's got a lot of great data modeling tips as well there, uh, if anybody's wanting to watch that. That kicks off at 10.20 uh, Pacific time, 7.20 here in the EU time zone uh, or Central European, um, Central Eastern summer time or some, something like that. Um, yeah, so Mark just dropped his Twitter. Uh, feel free to go and hammer that and uh, follow him if you don't. A lot of great stuff in there. Once again, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a great talk. And we will see you all back at 10.20, so in 15 minutes. Awesome. Enjoy Thank your break. You everyone. Enjoy the track. Bye.